Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Talk. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Talk. Let the truth talk to him. What up, all you truth seekers out there? You are now tuned in to another very informative podcast yeah. episode right here on Truth Talks. I am your host, Crazy Bone. What's happening with it? I'm the bum, Keith G. And today, y'all, we're going to be speaking about certain genders that's been going on in this world. Yeah, now, yeah. <clears throat> we're just going to jump right in. All right. Now, I'm not sure if any of you have heard about the United Nations Agenda 21. Hmm. But I think it's definitely interesting and it's something that everybody should be aware of because it has something to do with everybody that's here on earth, basically. Oh, yeah. It has to do with, it has a lot to do with our freedom as we know it today. Yeah. So, like I said, getting right to it, for those that don't know this or haven't heard about this Agenda 21, we're going to be doing a lot of reading today, a lot of research for y'all. Cause this is because this was a lot of this was a lot of information to research and um yeah G you know it's it's it's, it's deep <clears throat> so getting right to it the United Nations Agenda Twenty One plans first and foremost are very intrusive very intrusive and it could it could eventually affect every aspect of our lives <clears throat> yes. Some people even compared this plan to being communistic. Yeah. If you know what communism means, that's not good. And after reading a few articles that was written on the issue, you know, they're saying that this Green New Deal happens to represent the boldest tactic ever toward the full implementation of implementation implementation of Agenda 21 yeah. in this nation, in America. <clears throat> so, right, right. meaning it's already going down. That's real, G. You know is this saying? what what we're going to be talking about is already happening? It's already in mode? Full motion. The process has begun. You know what I'm saying? And what's even crazy is a lot of people don't even know about it. <clears throat> nah, a lot of distractions in this earth, you know? So, there was a there was a uh, there, w- there was a conference held in Rio de Janeiro back in June in the year 1992. It was a yep. it was a 11 day event. I think it went from June 3rd to June 14th. And um, Earth Summit. Here's what it says in an article that was written by the author's name Nancy J. Thorner. She's a, she's a writer. She's a cellist and a Tea Party activist based in suburban Chicago. <clears throat> so. This is what this is what was written about the uh, Agenda 21. Talk to him. It was to be implemented worldwide in order to inventory and control all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all energy, all education, all information, and all human beings in the world. Man. All human beings in the world, bro. That's natural resources, baby. And as such, Agenda 21 marked a new beginning for the UN, a decisive point of departure for the world organization. So after reading this, to me, it seems like it's pretty clear and obvious on what the agenda is. Yeah. It's really not too different from the agenda now to control everything and everybody. Although... Although it's laws put in place to make us think or have the illusion that we have this freedom of speech or that we have equal rights as, you know, as we know that today, that's not true. It's given rights for us, yeah. Especially for minorities. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's been clear. We, we, know that all, we, we know that all too well. It's just funny, though. Leatherface, it's funny now that some of the people who aren't minorities are just figuring out that some of their rights are going to be infringed on. That's real talk. You know what I'm saying? And um, so when I first started doing the research on what Agenda 21 really was, I was kind of confused and I really didn't understand it because it wasn't that clear to me at first. But after doing further research and digging deeper, it started to become very clear, you know, uh, what was going on here. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get, this is why it's important to do research and read and just not take people's word. Yeah. For everything, you know what I'm saying? You need to do the research yourself. So, jumping right into what this Agenda 21 is, 
I'm going to break it down and read to y'all. You let know what I'm saying? So everybody knows exactly what it is and I'm not missing nothing out. What is the main aim of Agenda 21? The, the 21 in Agenda 21 refers to the 21st century. It has been affirmed and had a few modifications at subsequent UN conferences. Mm -hmm. Its aim is achieving global, sustainable development. Okay. One major objective of the of the Agenda 21 initiative is that every local government should draw its own local Agenda 21. Now, at first, I was asking myself, why? Do, what does this necessarily mean? Yeah. Does this mean that? They're allowed to add in any law that they want to when they want to. Yeah. Because that's basically much. what it sounds like to me. You yeah, know, um, I, amendments. You know what I'm saying? Amendments. Yeah. Right. So, so, but we'll get back to that later. You know what I'm saying? Now, in 1992, they called, they called it Agenda 21 when they had the first initial summit in Rio. But recently, it has been changed and rebooted and named Agenda 2030. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, though. It's, it's still the same thing. Yeah, exact same thing. They kind of had to, they just modified it. And, um, you know, uh, so. For 2030 to be, you know. For 2030. To be, and, the, and, yeah. And the reason why they did this is because they expect this plan to be fully operational by 2030. Yeah. So what Agenda 2030 really means is the agenda is a commitment to eradicate poverty and achieve sustainable development by 2030 worldwide ensuring that no one is left behind the adoption of the 2030 agenda was a landmark achievement providing for a shared global version vision towards sustainable development for all right now not to be negative here we've been hearing this shit excuse my language but we've been hearing this ever since slavery ended, man, and we still ain't seen them 40 acres in the mill. I'm, I'm never going to see it. You know what I'm saying? So, and they can't even deal with the homeless problem now. Nah. That we have today. So you mean to tell me that you're going to do all these things and ensure that every single homeless person is not homeless anymore or every single hungry person is not hungry anymore? Because this is what it sounds like they're saying they're going to do. Yeah, yeah. And not for nothing, you really have to pay attention to that word eradicate because like that word can mean so much more. That that word can mean Got to go. Getting rid of people. <laughs> that means you got to go. <laughs> what do you mean by eradicate? This could mean like actually getting rid of the homeless, homeless people, not the yes. problem, yeah. the people. So you have to... Um, even the word, even the word too uh, crazy, sustainable. That word in the, inside of itself too, because anything that's not sustainable is going to be eradicated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, At the same time, definitely. and that's probably just what you're saying too. They hadn't spoke about that yet, but I'm sure they do have a a a, 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 a plan for the homeless. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? To be eradicated out of that because it's not something that's sustainable. You know, exactly. so any, that, anything that's, that's not sustainable from their eyes, from their view, no matter what it is, whether it's the dams or it's the roads or it's the owning private property. You know what I'm saying? That's Real not spill. sustainable. Or even shopping like how we shop because manufacturers have to make the things that are uh, that we accumulate and that we keep buying in America. And to them, that causes uh, the factories have to work harder, which is more pollution. So to them, it's not sustainable. Right. What is the objective of the agenda? Hmm. Agenda 2030 is a global action plan for sustainable development in the 21st century. For wealthy nations, achieving sus sustainable development means adopting and, adopting and implementing policies concerning issues such as recycling, energy efficiency, conservation, and rehabilitation of damaged landscapes. Who signed the who who signed Agenda 2030? Really, though, more than 178 countries have already adopted this agenda as official policies during a signing ceremony at the Earth Summit. U.S. Art the the U.S. President George H. W. Bush yep. signed this document for the U.S. and in signing, each nation had to pledge that they were going to adopt these goals yeah. of this uh, certain agenda. So, wow. getting to 
the two principal goals of the agenda. The two principal goals of 2030 are, one, to combat environmental damage, poverty disease through global cooperation and common interests, mutual needs, and shared responsibility. Mm-hmm. It's getting deep. So you got to pay attention because, like we said, these things are already been being implemented and you just don't see it because we so wrapped up in our day to day lives. This is the games they play while we doing what we do. Even <laughs> for though, real. even so from since 1992, 90, when, you know, what I'm saying President Bush senior at the time who had, you know, and, and, and mind you, there was no American vote at the time for that kind of thing. So he just went over there as president and, and vouched for everybody and said, we doing this anyway. But that was the kind of time where you can see where uh, big companies were getting tax breaks and tax credits for kind of changing anything to they, we call it green now. But mm-hmm. back then they called it, uh, you know, something different that, you know, from keeping the smoke out the air from the factories or whatever it is, burning plastic or wh- whatever it is to, to be an environmental thing. Mm-hmm. That yeah, was the catch exactly. that they brought it oh, in yeah. on. They give them uh, kickbacks and che- big checks. If, if they didn't give them kickbacks, they give them large amounts of money to be able to go on if they would do and downsize, you know, from what they were using at the time that were what they saying is a. Uh, uh, harmful to the ozone layer and different things to the earth Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so those are when you start seeing it you know okay so talking about how how agenda 2030 has has been implemented global progress with implementation of agenda 2030 was accepted by more than 178 governments in 1992 Hmm. progress toward achieving agenda 2030 goals is occurring but has been slower than anticipated and we'll talk about the reasons why a little later on yeah but um it says uh what is the purpose of the 17 sustainable development goals they have 17 goals and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to i'm going to read this and then we're going to break down the goals because okay you know um i found another article that actually put the goals into terms that you can understand right and tells you what they actually really mean. You know, because they'll just have you, oh yeah, we're gonna make this, we're gonna do this, and everyone's gonna be happy, everyone's gonna be better off, Yeah, you're gonna live right, but they're not telling you how they're gonna do it. Side effects. And and and, and this is where I was confused and until I did until I dug deeper and did more research so I could understand because you know I was because the whole time I was reading it, I was like, okay, but how are you gonna do this? Yeah. How? How? Like, you're talking about the plan, but how are you going to execute the plan? So, it says, what is the purpose of the 17 s- Sustainable Development Goals? The, s- the Sustainable Development Goals are the blueprints to achieve a better and a more sustainable future for all. Hmm. They address the global challenges we face, including those related to poverty, inequality, climate, environmental degradation, prosperity, and peace and justice. Sustainable development has been defined in many ways, but the most frequently the most frequently quoted definition is from our common future, also known as the Brundelant Report. Okay. Sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. You know what I'm saying? And it says, how do they achieve sustainable developments? One, to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. Two, to achieve universal primary education. Three, to promote gender equality. Hmm. Four, to reduce child mortality. Five, to improve maternal health. Six, to combat to combat. HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases. Seven, to ensure environmental sustainability. Eight, to develop a global partnership for development. Wow. Now, after reading about this deal or this plan, when I was researching Agenda 21, it was very vague to me. Because, yes, you're saying you're going to do all these things you know, uh, eradicate things and make some things better. But 
you know, they're just talking about the plan. Like I just said, they didn't say anything about the execution. Yeah. How we were going to be executed and what steps would be taken to bring these things about because what we really should, and because that's what we really should be worried about. Oh, yeah. What we really should be worried about is how they're going to do this. That's why I was so vague, I'm guessing, when I first read it, and that's why I had to do more research. What so, they do, what they do in face is... Uh, mm-hmm. Infringing on uh, the Constitution that they came up with, the human rights laws and things like that, the, the, those amendments, what we're talking about, will supersede some of these laws. One guy quoted this thing as being the new Ten Commandments. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For, for people to follow. For humans. Yeah, yeah. For, for human beings to follow, you know, because they're, they're going to implicate these laws and um, like kind of like martial law. When things get so bad, they can make martial law and that supersedes human rights to a point. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's the same kind of uh, same kind of boat. They just, you know. Same boat they driving in, bro. So let's get into these. Uh, I want to get into these these uh, seventeen goals for sustain for sustainable go- development that they have. Okay, because it's seventeen of them. So I'm gonna read through them, and then you know we could break them down as we go. But it's really no need to break them down. They're being broken down. This 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 is the meaning of them. Number one, goal number one. To end poverty in all its forms everywhere. The only answer the plan offers for eliminating poverty is redistribution of wealth. The document calls for equal rights to economic resources. That means government is claiming an absolute power to take away anything that belongs to you and give it to whomever it deems more deserving. By law. That is government sanction death what that's what that is these are and these are only band-aids that solve nothing tomorrow those in the bread lines are going to still need more bread or they may be in the uh, line for casket line and they're buying black clothes you know what i'm saying they won't even exist no more because they it just trickle down in this plan there is not a single idea to give the to give the poor a way to earn more and to earn their own wealth. Yeah. So they no longer so they lo, no longer need government assistance. The final result will be a never-ending cycle of poverty that will consume the middle class and it will only get worse. Yeah, just make two sorts of classes, kind of like in uh, Egyptian days, there will only be the elite and there will be servants. You know, yeah. that's pretty much what this... Exactly. That the doctrine is going towards, you know, and, um, uh, we haven't even gotten to the depopulation basically saying it's no this, you know? Basically saying there's no more room for three classes. No, people. no. There's no more room for the poor. Really no more room for the middle class. The middle class, they really want to eliminate them too. You know, they look down on anybody that is not on the class that they're at or have accumulated the wealth of, of hundreds and hundreds of years that they uh, feel that they've obtained by being so smart, which, you know, we'll get to that. Moving on to go two. Number two. End hunger, achieve food security, and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. UN documents go into great detail on controlling food supplies. The detail enforcing sustainable farming tactics, which have been proven to force up the cost of food production while de- while decreasing yield. It is basically the old Soviet practice of farm control that turned the bread ba- that turned the bread basket of the world into a non-productive wasteland. Yeah. The document details the use of government controlled seed and plant banks to ensure access to the fair and equitable sharings of benefit arising from the utilization of genetic resources and associated traditional knowledge and internationally agreed. In other words, our future food sources will be put in the hands of politically connected bureaucrats who have never been on a farm. Period. Never planted a seed in their life. Nah. Starvation on massive scales will trim the population to more sustainable levels. And that's how you get rid of people that's who don't part have. Of the agenda. That's how you get rid of people who are hungry. When you when you uh, uh, you starve uh, them out. Um, per- talk to me. When you on purpose, you starve them out. You you purposely uh, produce a famine. 
not because the uh, the sun is not you know shining or it's not raining or nothing like that or the uh, the earth is not getting its natural nutrients for everything to grow. No, they purposely making a starvation kind of thing so that the people who can't afford to pay five dollars for a loaf of bread, you're gonna fall off. Like I said, pay attention to that word eradicate. Oh yeah, eradicate. Real talk. Number three. Ensure healthy lives and promote well-being of all ages. This means cradle to the grave control over how and where we live and what we are permitted to eat. The healthy lives they promote means basically forcing us out of cars and into walking and riding bikes yes, as sir. we relocated into control, as we're relocated into controlled high-rise apartments sanctioned by government. Meat will be out of the question as raising herds it's not considered to be sustainable. But don't worry, it says Obamacare for all will deal with the predictable decline in health that is sure to follow. Now, Craig Jack, let me ask you something about this. I'm from a 72 baby, you know what I'm saying? So when I was a young guy, it was no bike lane just yet. You know, and I can understand why you want to make a bike lane for safety of things like that. You know, of, of course, he needs his right to right away and stuff like that. But, you know, as of now, they want to continue to make more bike lanes and but less listen, car lanes. But check this out. The last time we was in Europe yeah. and over there, bro, in and, and, and Sweden, I can see that already being Amsterdam too. implemented because, nigga, I was trying to cross the street and I wasn't worried about getting hit by a car. These bike dudes was that these bikes. dudes was notorious, son. I'm talking about speeding. Like I'm like, they even had ten yo, speeds. The ten, all the bro, ten speeds so you don't see no more is out there. That's 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 really being implemented already. Like some things, like we said, some things are already taking place now. Just in different places. Yes. Go number four. Number four. Ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Listen to that key word. Promote lifelong learnings for all. We have long known that lifelong learnings is the means to continually applying behavior modifications, practices to assure that we maintain the desired attitudes, values, and beliefs to live in this global village. Hmm. So they're saying we got to go to school for the rest of our lives to make sure we're learning how to live in this new world that they're creating. Yeah, I like the way you said that global village too. Global village. I wish it, I, w I, do, I really wish it was a village because in a village we all got the same say so of what we finna eat and hunt and all that kind of stuff like that. In this global one, it's a whole nother situation, folks. You know what I'm saying? We're not just trying to come with no conspiracy theories or nothing like that, y'all. We're telling we, what we've read, what we've researched. I mean, this is already being, heart, like we know? said, this has already been implemented. You can see little traces of it but like, you just ain't been paying attention because you've been so wrapped up in your social media. But we'll talk about that wow. in a minute. Like I said, wow. we'll get to that. Goal number five. Number five. Achieve gender equality and empower, empower all women and girls. Say that again because you said gender equality. Some we gotta see. Achieve about that. gender equality uh -huh. and and empower all women and girls. Is that why I see gender stuff uh -huh. like the bathrooms? The rainbow flag flies as we ignore Sharia law and it's war on women is, is, is what it's saying and yes that is the fact you know what I'm saying go number six number six ensure availability availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation ask California how sustainable water control is working for them as these policies have torn down water systems and dams to free the rivers yes the original pioneers found that the land to be a desert. They built a sophisticated water control system that resulted in an emerald green paradise. Now, as sustainable policy, policies are being enforced, they are witnesses the return of the desert, destroying productive land. Meanwhile, across the nation, the EPA is moving to take control of all the water in the United States. Control the water control the population. Exactly, bro. Now, how, how we looking at the water drop when I see the ocean all day? You notice when we, when, we, when we driving, when we do shows out here and we're driving up north and we see those signs like, all, all those signs about water, they be like. Yeah, turn, don't run the sprinklers on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, gro 
it, it, I, I saw a sign that said, it's growing water. No, no, it's growing food, wasting water. Yeah. Right, so like, I've been seeing those signs. That's true, that's true, G. So that's what, so, so, but I never knew what they were talking about. Yeah, a, a, a water drought. Right, until, un, until I started doing this research, and you know what I'm saying, like, it all started to come to the light. Goal number seven. Number seven. Ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. Their solution is to ban, their solution is to ban our Air Force, all, hold on, their solution is to ban oil and enforce wind and solar power. Every study across the nation around the world has proven that these modern energy sources are unreliable and force up the cost of energy. Some report health problems related to life under the turbines. Moreover, the carnage of the birds and the bats that are being chopped up and fried by these sustainable energy practice goes against everything envirom environmentalists told us about protecting species. So are those kind of like those things we'd be seeing when we on our way to Palm Springs? The big old, you know, the big things with the propellers? Uh, uh, the windmill? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the energy or whichever yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. You're talking and about the, taking them down? And, the, and, the, and, the, and I've even seen like, when you're on the road, like you see a big, you see a big patch of uh, those solar things just just sitting there yeah. they, they have like a thousand of them just sitting there like just yeah yeah but you know but 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 this is what obama used to talk about like all like like leaving gas alone he, he used yeah, to always he, say he, he there, there, too. there were different natural energy we had different a, yeah, options we didn't have to use gas and oils you know what i'm saying so uh goal number eight number eight promote sustained inclusive and sustainable eco economic growth full and productive employment and decent work for all. I'd like to see that. Please. One thing our 23 years one thing our 23 years of Agenda 21 has proven is that there is no economic growth. European nations that implemented sustainable energy and water control guidelines are now dumping those programs as fast as they can save their economies. And who decides what is productive or decent work? Do we leave it to the bureaucrats to decide? Man. So this is where it's all going right now. Moving on. Goal number nine. Number Cause it's nine. Because it's 17 down. We got to move. Build resilient infrastructure. Promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster innovation. Sustainable and really? It's crazy. Sustainable industrialization means destroyed industry. Yep. No real industry can remain in a business under a government-managed economy with its shifting rules and constant increase in taxes. The government trying to wear a hat they can't fit. Governments doesn't create industry or prosperity. Our government's job is to provide protection of the marketplace so real innovators are free to create new ideas, industries, and opportunities. Government itself is a job killer when it gets in the way. I, I feel that government, whenever government gets in the way of anything, yeah. we said it on, on our shows, whenever politics is involved with anything, it messes everything up. Yeah, the whole spirit of entrepreneurship, you know? And then, you know, reading the top of this, Go nine. It says build resilient infrastructures. What do you mean? Prisons? That's pretty much uh, a resilient infrastructure. Prison? Yeah. I need to know what that resilient infrastructure is because prisons is already resilient. Or maybe they 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 they're talking about natural disaster proof. I don't know, but you know it's one of the rules. We're gonna go to go number ten. Number ten. Reduce equality within and among countries. This is another form of redistribution of wealth that forces industries from first world to third world nations. By using oppressive sustainable policies to drive up production costs, companies are forced to take their factories to poorer nations. Yeah. The second trick is to exempt those poor nations from the very environmental rules and regulations that cause the factories to move in the first place. That Can everyone explain how this helps the environment. It doesn't. Crazy. It simply takes 
It simply makes everyone equally poor. This is also an assault on national sovereignty. To kind of sum that up to folk, if you don't know what it is, it's like, I'll sell dope, but I won't sell, I'll sell it to you, but to not my family. So I'll build some uh, factories and stuff like, you know, we'll, I'll have Nike that I'll sell in the United States, but I'll have the companies that build Nike, the pollution to be in their countries. Mm. And I'll pay them this and that kind of thing. So it's kind of like that situation. That's what I'm getting from my mind state on it, G. Real spill. We're going to move to number 11. Goal number 11. Number 11. Make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. This is, this, is, this is smart growth, which promises a utopia of families and neighbors playing and working together, riding bikes, walking to work in stress-free communities. It really means the end of private property rights, single family homes, and stack and pack high rises where residents are overtaxed, overregulated, Rents are high, mm. and individual thoughts and actions are viewed as a threat to well order to the well order society. And by the way, the American Planning Association did a study to see if their smart growth plan worked. What they say? And their own report concluded that the smart growth doesn't work. That don't sound like no utopia. There ain't no utopia to me. Utopia to me sound extra happy about being whatever it is you're doing. That's what utopia is. That's the whole thing about that. Real spill. What else? Real spill. Yeah. So, go number 12, Mark. Number 12. Ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. What more is there to say? Control from the top down. Rooted to the tutor. <laughs> That's basically what that one's saying. From the top down. They said root to the two. Oh, yeah. Number 13. 13. <laughs> number 13. Take urgent action to com to combat climate change and its impacts. Okay, check it out. The root of the entire plan, climate change. How many scientific reports do real scientists have to present to show that this is the greatest scam ever devised to create a reason for governments to control every aspect of our lives? Man. The global warning scare mongers tell you their true purpose in their own words. It says, now this is what people say. These are, these are some of the people that's pushing this whole global warming and climate change. Melting cap, polar cap, thing all that. On us. Check it out. Talk to us. No matter if the science of global warming is all phony, Climate change provides the greatest opportunity to bring about justice and equality in the world. This was said by Kristen Stewart, Christine Stewart, former Canadian Minister of the Environment. Justice built on a lie, huh? Oh, yeah. But, but also check it out. And here is another quote to make it clear. Uh, listen, if you this tell is in this, 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 this In this article, and I'm going to um, tell you what the article showed we we've got to ride this global warming issue even if the theory of global warming is wrong we will be doing the right thing in terms of economic and and environmental policy timothy wreath worth reef said this that's the arrogance timothy of reef man. and he's the president of the u.n foundation the arrogance of man no controlling the weather climate is to control the weather Real spill. Weatherman, the only dude I know that got a job still, my step pop told me this, only dude that got a job and he wrong half the time. Goal number 14. Number 14. Conserve and, conserve and sustainably, sustainably use the ocean, seas and marine resources for sustainable development. Control the water, control society. This one is really aimed at destroying the oil industry in order to enforce wind and solar power. Mm. This is the UN pounding its chest to become the central global government it has always sought to be. What? It has no more right to the seas than it does to the air we breathe or the surface of the moon. Man. Go number 15. 15. Protect, restore, and promote 
sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification, and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. Now, this is gonna really shock a lot of y'all because we're going through this right now. Right now. Have you ever been watching the news? Have you been watching the news as the greatest fires in history are destroying millions of acres of forests? Millions. Why is this happening? Because of substance, sustainable forest management that refuses to allow the removal of dead trees from the forest floor. Talk to him, bro. This creates a density of, of combustible material to fuel massively hot and unmanageable fires. If you want to save a forest, send the send send an environment environmentalist back to his high rise in New York where he belongs. Did you so, hear this? Did you hear what this man just said? I just said the other day, you know, like sitting back watching these fires as we had to evacuate from one a few weeks ago. Because you down there in Port of Ranch. I'm like, why are these fires keep starting like this and how do they spread so fast? Word. We just read it to you why. And Makes I was tripping, a lot of sense. We had a conversation in the car on the way here. You know, we got we got a couple of things here and I'll be very brief because I want my men to get back to because we on, we on time with it. We got football season. We got baseball season. We even got the holiday season. Now they have implicated fire season. I can't wrap that around my head real quick. Yeah. I just can't wrap that around my head. It's like every this time of day, fires is like going hurricane to... season or tornado season. Now, now that might be okay because it's a natural. Disaster. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah. no, no. I'm saying, but yeah, yeah. That's that's how it's being normalized. Yeah. Like that, it's it's one of these like seasons like that. Like for real. Yeah, nigga, a fire a fire season just gonna start like a strike a match. Just cut it out. We took a goal number 16, y'all. 16. Promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all, and build effective, accountable, and inclusive institutions at all levels. This is, this is social justice, which really means social engineering. Have you ever once witnessed on effective or or have you ever once witnessed an effective or accountable institution coming out of the United Nations? Never. Nah. Everything they've tried, they failed. Bottom line. Everything. By its very nature, the UN is uncountable. Who would be the entity, the entity to oversee that accountability? Every one of these programs outlined in the 2030 agenda creates money, power, and unaccountability at every level of government. That is why government is now running out of control and people are feeling so hopeless in trying to deal with their governments. Goal 16 should be named Foxes Running the Hen House Goal. You know what? That sounds that sound pretty much what it's like. Basically, bro. And, it, and, it, and it's, 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 it's very real. You know what I'm saying? Like this In is, this, there is no like internal affairs like how there is in the police department. You got internal affairs and I still don't believe them either because they could be paid and bought off. You know what I'm saying? But at least they have a police policing the police. In this kind of situation, there is nobody policing the government. They damn near got a free reign to do what they want to do. Yes, yes indeed. So, goal number 17. 17. Strengthen the means of, um, strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. This means the reboot of Agenda 21 because that was the original global partnership. The goal is a call for all of the treaties, plans and schemes devised in, in the massive UN meetings to be made the law of the globe. It is the total global government and it is a sure highway to misery, destruction of the human society, individual thought, motivation and dreams so this is what they're trying to take away yeah they don't want people to be aspiring no more no nah. they don't want you to think outside the box they don't want you to think for yourself no more you have to become this robot now yeah because you know there's no other way to do this to make a new world order or a one world order 
unless you have total order. Not just, see, they're not just satisfied with having it a uh, city or state or just in that whole, you know, this region. They got to have a globe. They want the and entire ain't even, the And they ain't even happy with that because they chipping away at Mars now and the uh, moon. They ain't even happy with that. Hey, you talking about that black van, black van pulling up tonight, bro. <laughs> For real. And I ain't no, no, trying no. to be funny, but that's on the no, real, bro. So what I found interesting in most of the <laughs> presidents or leaders in the world, you know, that they're for this plan. George H.W. Oh, yeah. Bush signed it. His son, George W. Bush, promoted it. Yes, sir. Bill Clinton promoted it. Mm. And Osama bin Laden, I mean, not Osama bin Laden, uh, uh, Barack I Obama. Out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Barack Obama also promoted this. Oh, yeah. that's and, 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 and they were hoping to have this plan take effect much sooner, but they ran into a few stumbling blocks, y'all. And every, part, every, every name he just named? has been a part of the Bilderberg Group. But we'll get to that, too, on another episode. Yes, indeed. So, like I said, they wanted this plan to take place sooner, but they ran into a few stumbling blocks. Hmm. And some of y'all are going to be very shocked to know that one of these stumbling blocks was a person that we all know today. Yep. And, and a lot of us have even came to hate this person. Yeah. And that person is none other than President Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, his ignorant ass and <laughs> So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, President Trump is the only president since this plan was signed that went against their agenda when he pulled out of the plan. Y'all remember the whole thing that went down in, you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I got it, I got it here. It says, President Trump as a stumbling block. President Trump momentarily stymied the UN movement to advance Agenda 21 worldwide in a White House Rose Garden event on June 2nd, 2017, and was harshly condemned when pulling out of the Paris Accords. President Trump has many times spoken of climate change as a total and very expensive hoax. On March 28th, 2017, Trump declared the cost of complying with government regulations designed to limit climate change posed a greater threat to national security than did the changes themselves. Additionally, Trump reskinned Obama's, reskinded Obama's 2016 natural security memorandum okay. and many of Obama's other climate-related directives. Trump's aim was to end regulatory burdens that unnecessarily encumber energy production certain economic growth and pre and prevent job creation. Word. Now, feel me on this. I'm not reading this to say that President Trump ain't the asshole that he is. Because, oh, he's definitely that. Because he is. I actually thought, I actually thought about him before he became, you know, I actually thought this about President Trump before he even became the president. I thought he was an asshole when I used to watch his Reality show. Yeah, but that didn't, uh, you know what I'm saying? Tank, I thought it was, I thought he was an asshole, and I always thought, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, I honestly believe that President Trump is the kind of person that just rides the wave, and whichever the wind, whichever way the wind blows him in, that's the way he goes. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and if it blows him to the richer upper class. Supporters, that's where he gonna go. He gonna ride with him. If it blows him to the white supremacist supporters, that's he gonna where ride he with him. Go. I even believe that if the, that, that if black people started off supporting Trump, he'd be a first if, in me. If he wouldn't have said nothing that offended us, if we started off promoting him, if he blew the wind would have blew him this way, and he would have probably been riding with black people, not because yes. he care about us. Because he's an opportunist. He's an opportunist. It's political. Kind of like a narcissist. See, Trump only cares about himself. He does everything to, for personal gain. Right. That's right. his problem. He don't care about the Democrats. He don't care about the Republicans. He don't care about white people. He don't care about Mexicans. He don't care about black people. He only cares about what's going to benefit him and his. So you're saying, Face, he got up in office and didn't do exactly what they expected him to do? No, huh? No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. No, he did. No, 
No, he, he did the opposite of. They what didn't they expect him to do that because he did. He did. The he's their stumbling block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By him being out for himself, he has none of their agenda on his it, radar. That's what I'm saying. He's out for himself. Yeah, he didn't do what they because thought he was going to do. Because if you look at what they're trying to impeach him for, it's everything like it's all for personal gain. They said he did this for personal gain. He did that for personal gain. Oh yeah, it's all for personal gain. So he don't care what's going on. They 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 looking at Trump like we don't let a clown in the got in the damn office. We don't let a clown in the office. He's he, he's. Messing up our plan, our agenda. Yeah, because we thought that when we brought him in here, he would do this. We didn't know he'd go all off the board and do this. You know what I'm saying? And especially go against the, uh, the, the, the economical plans or whatever it is that these damn people be saying. This is some, this is, the way that they presented it though, and I'm going to be brief, the, when they say, when you say environmental, I'm thinking, okay, you know, <coughs> I, I would even think myself, okay, well shoot, I want the water to be healthy. I Real want the talk. air to be healthy. I want the dolphins to swim good and this and all. When you present something like that, you got to know something is in the back door. <coughs> you got they, to know. They don't care about you this water. They don't care about no water. They don't care about no... The ozone layer ain't going to break, bro. I've been hearing about that since I was a little kid. That ain't going... I ain't, Matter of fact, don't you ever seen the ozone layer? Mm-mm. What, what we at? Number 20? No, 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 what we do with them. But um, it says... And it got me mad on that one, man. But with all this, but with, uh, but, but all this that we've read and everything that I've researched, uh, it only brings you back to think like, well, hey, it, I mean, you know, is, is this whole climate change claim a hoax and smoke and mirrors for the real agenda? Mm -hmm. Because if you think back throughout history, the powers that be has always needed a reason when they're getting ready to make a move such as this one that's going to affect everybody. They always need a reason to execute their agenda and yeah. at the same time, slowly but surely, take away our rights. That's nothing new. That's They've true. been doing it. Think, it back, think, think, think back to when 9-11 happened. Jeez. That was an excuse to invade on our privacies even more. Yeah. To, 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 to surveillance certain people unjustly. Yeah, because before that, we could walk we, through the airport yeah, with a brick yeah. or anything like that. Now, with, we after 9 11, you can't go through the airport with nothing. With nothing. You can, you, like, like, some of our rights was taken away then. You know what I'm saying? So, these are the things that we have to be paying attention to instead of drowning ourselves in their distraction traps, such as social media, and being caught up. And what this rapper is doing or this actor is doing in their lives instead of worrying about mm -hmm. our own personal lives and the things that have taken place around us these are their weapons of mass distraction that they're using on this we talked about this like in earlier that. episodes but all these things were not put in place for nothing and the you, you know the main objective is distraction while they go about in their evil agendas yeah you know what I'm saying that's why that's why we're bombarded with everything you know what I'm saying like just like Kanye said you know what I'm saying the gram got your bitch <laughs> the gram got your bitch why you worried about the bro like no bro, like it's Shouts real out to though. Kanye for doing what he's doing right now too man it's real though you know what I'm saying we 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 so wrapped up as wrapped up in these distractions yeah they in the they in the White House playing Dog, cause with, Playing I'll be, I'll on be, our expense. I'll be brief again. They know it ain't me got no bomb in my shoe when I go to the airport, but you steadily checking me. Or some, you know what I'm saying, some guys that look like me, you, you know they ain't got that situation. Even I know people could be hired for to do this and that, but dog, the average cats ain't trying to become, they ain't trying to, if, they, if anything, trying to bring some tree through or something like that. And citizens that's going to be under a lot of uh, scrutiny because of the people that you let in to bomb those towers. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We, all those people you checking, you know, that's just going through a formality to give people something to look at. You know them pe American people ain't bombed that damn tower. Y'all folks did that kind of thing, man. That's all. That's 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 y'all people. That's that's y'all, like kind of like how the drive-by kind of hits the, the the bullet hits the accidentally hits the people on the over there. That's they casualties of war yeah. that they want us to deal with. And now, man, I know how I stay in that line on the airport, bro, because of. What y'all want to accidentally or make it look like we gonna the American citizens gonna do? It's we got terrorism right here, it, and it's not from the foreign countries. Now we've we've went through this whole podcast today, Jizzle, without mentioning God or the Bible. But that don't mean we're not. Oh yeah, gotcha. 
And all I'm going to say is this before we close. You know, a lot of a lot of people say that they don't believe in God and their main reason is because they can't believe what they can't see or they say if God really existed, you know, and he really cared about us, why does he allow so much suffering to continue? Mm -hmm. And I tell people this all the time, you know, if you read the Bible and came to a full understanding of the message and theme, you would then begin to understand the deep things of God. All the propaganda that goes around about man wrote the Bible and they use it as a oppressive tool to oppress its subjects. It's yeah. a bunch of propaganda in itself. Yeah, it's true that some imperfect human beings have used the Bible as a means to oppress people. That's true. But that is not God's intentions. You can't blame the actions of man on God, ever. These world rulers, whether you choose to believe it or not, are operating under the influence of the devil. That's it right. It's not God that's backing them. And that's believe right. that. That's right what my man's saying. Talk to See, him. See, the only advantage that man has on God, or at least they think they have this advantage, but they, they have no advantage. None. The only advantage they think that they have on God is that man is in our faces pushing their agenda every single day. Every single day, we turn on the news, their agenda. Walk down the street, their, their agenda. agenda. Look at a billboard, their agenda. Everything is their agenda. Or their propaganda. You know what I'm saying? So, to where it makes, it, 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 it may start to break some of us down and we give in to the customs or their, or their traditions because it's being forced on us. Because God is not going to push his agenda on you. Right. Although it's the right one to follow. But God wants us to choose for ourselves to follow him. He wants us to willingly follow him. No robots. Because God's no, God knows he can't use us if we're not willing to be used as his servant. There's nothing he can do with us or for us if we don't choose to follow his guidance. But there will be consequences, though. But, you know... But at least the freedom of choice opportunity is given, whereas you have these governments, as you see in this plan, they're trying to force this agenda on us. Oh, yeah. They're going to be trying to, uh, to, to force this agenda upon us, whether we want to go by it or not. They're going to make it seem like it's a utopia. It's, you know, this, this is their vision of paradise. So... With all this being said, with everything we've read to you, everything we've discussed, I want to leave you with this question. Who are you going to believe and follow? Will it be imperfect man that has lied to us over and over again, countless times, and over, and have been caught up in all types of injurious schemes and plots against its own people? And they make it seem as if they're in control, but in reality, they're totally out of control. In control of Nathan. And in, and in the Bible, it tells us it will not end well f for these rulers or these human governments. Oh, no. That are marching directly into their destiny, which is destruction. Their future is written. Or will you choose to follow God? Somebody that is promising us everything that they're promising, but they actually, but he actually has the means and the power to bring about with no catches, no stipulations. No fine print. All God is asking us to do is be faithful to him and to carry out his commandments and abide by his law, and you will receive everlasting life. See, their plan didn't even promise everlasting life because they can't. And even like we were saying upstairs, Cray, believe that his son came here and did what he did without seeing him. Believe what he exactly. did for us and gave his life. And they will never be able to promise us that. So again, I ask you, who are you going to choose for your salvation? You know what I'm saying? 
Once again, I thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Truth Talks. And I strongly advise you to tune into the next episode because it's going to be just as deep, oh, yeah. just as informative, just as educational as this one. You know what I'm saying? But to the young people, always remember, the truth is always talking. You just got to sit down and listen sometime. Shut up and listen. Word. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Talk. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Let the truth talk to him. Talk. Let the truth talk to him.